which they don't uh, get to use. They are made before they ever get to the courts. They're made by DHS staff. And there may be family that live down the road from these children where the next to get where they could be placed with them. They should they should have priority. Wouldn't you agree? Anytime children are removed from the custody of their parents, the court is always involved. Always. DHS does not have the authority and they did not do that without court oversight. And they come before you personally? They do. Okay. If there if children are removed from the custody of their parents, they're coming to court. That case is a court case. If, if I could add in, um, I think that, um, so there's an initial sort of removal that's done without the court, an initial placement decision by DCFS, and then they're coming into the court for first a probable cause hearing, and then like, you know, they're put 30, 72 hours in an adjudication, hopefully 30 days, no more than 60, but um, the, the, when it comes to a, a judge decision or uh, even the caseworker's decision, um, it's the decision's only as good as the information they have in front of them. And um, when the system is, they're overstretched, they're overworked, they are not having the time to adequately explore what other placements are op open to them. I'm not saying that that's right, I'm saying that there is such a sort of crisis in their workload that they, you know, and sometimes they ask the family, they'll ask the parent, is there a family member? And that parent has had such poor relations that they don't, they're not honest and don't tell them where the families are. And so then you have the family trying to track down the children, you know, later on, and that becomes an issue. But the decisions are as good as the information that they have. And sometimes that information is not good information. And I guess I also want to say that um, when you talk about the large number of children, you're absolutely right um, that it's out of control. Um, and we have to figure out what we can do in the system to help that. But part of it is my personal belief that we have a complete breakdown in the American family system. And that's part of why we have so many kids as well, is that the values and sort of parental responsibility and even the family ties that we're trying so hard to keep. Um, the extended families are sort of broken up. And um, I don't know how we repair that in our society, um, but that's my personal belief is that's part of our problem. I don't know if that's helpful to you at all. So, in essence, what you're saying is there are children who are removed from their home without appearing before a court. The immediate removal, it, yes, is made, and then they are brought before the court. After the 